So today we're going to be looking at a tutorial on the five tips to evaluate a website. And we're going to be focusing on the crap method. Have you ever heard of it? You see, the internet is full of information and ideas that were made up. Anybody can put anything on the internet, and you got to find what you can trust. So that's where the CRAP method comes in. It's an acronym, and we're going to use it to help us. So what does CRAP stand for? The C stands for currency. The R for relevance. First A, authority. Second A, accuracy. And the P is for purpose. Now let's take a look closer at each of those. First comes currency. When was it last updated? You can usually find that on the top or the bottom. Is the information current, especially if you're learning about science or social studies? And do all the links work? The R stands for relevance. Is this really relevant to what you're doing? Is the information what you need for your assignment? And is it actually about your topic, like specific to what you're looking for? Or does it just sound cool? Because if it just sounds cool, you probably need to move on. The next one's authority. Who's the author? Is the information biased? And what does the URL tell you? You know, an author that you take notes from should be an expert. You should be able to contact them and figure out what they do for a living on the web page. What does it mean to read a URL anyway? Well, the URL is the www.whatever for a website, and there's actually a lot you can learn from it. For instance, a .org is an organization or a group. A lot of kids think they can trust those, but not necessarily. Some terrorist groups are .orgs, so you got to look closer. .gov means they come from the United States government, and usually you can trust those. .k12 means it's from an elementary, middle, or high school, and usually you want to move on from those. They probably don't have anything to do with what you're doing. Next is a dot .com. Those are commercial. They're trying to sell you something. So look closely and make sure you don't fall for a scheme. Dot .edu is a college or university, and a lot of times they have good things to offer. But like any website, you've got to look closely. So check those URLs before you click. There's a couple of websites that you just can't use no matter what, and that includes Wiki Answers and Wikipedia. Wikis means they can be edited by anybody, so we got to steer clear of those. Blogs are also people's online diaries, so we can't use those either. They're very opinionated. The next one down says Answers websites, and this is Yahoo Answers or Answers.com. Those are no good either. That's just like screaming out in the middle of public and seeing if anybody knows the answer. You can't trust what anybody will tell you, so you definitely have to steer clear of those too. So next we're going to take a look at accuracy. And that means, is the website trying to sell you something or convince you to believe in their side? Because if they are, then they're probably not being totally accurate. And you want to see if the information you see on this website matches what you found on other ones. Because if it does, that's a good sign and it's probably legit. That brings us to purpose. Why did the author create the page? If you just did it to entertain you or to be funny or silly, then it's probably not something you want to use in research. By all means, watch cats playing the piano on your own time, but when you need to do research, you got to find stuff that is actually for an academic purpose. Okay, good luck, guys, and if you have any questions, come see me. Created using Powtoon.